So I'm here with Maro from Portugal. Welcome. Thank uh, you. Firstly, I just want to say that um, I've done a few preview parties with my friends, so colleagues who are British and some friends online back in the UK. When your song came on, silence, hypnotised. There's something quite hypnotic about your song in a very positive way that's connecting with people. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. so I wanted to get that out of the way first. Um, firstly, um, for my subscribers, they're going to want to know, how was your first rehearsal? Um, it was great, actually. You know, there's there's a bit of a, an adjustment, kind of like to the space it's so much bigger and a bit you know different than our portugal um version of it um but it was great i think i think you know we're all really just excited to be a part of this sure okay good i'm glad it was a positive first experience for you on the stage yeah yeah talk to me about the, um basically how you wrote the song when you wrote the song where you wrote the song so, <laughs> i wrote it with my my best friend that also did my you know my my next album the whole thing with me is a producer from the states uh, called John Blanda. Uh -huh. um, and you know he's just we're really like like best best friends like he's my brother and so we write a lot together and it's just kind of just like like a perfect team really like we it's so natural and we don't think about it just things just come out and we're always so happy about it and it was kind of what happened with Soldad we we wrote it and then when we had it kind of oh this this could be the song for your vision actually because it just came out and in 50 minutes we, we had the whole thing and we were so excited about it and then it made sense to have that one go to to Festival de Canción, our Portuguese version of Eurovision. Had you already applied as a singer to Festival de Canção before you wrote the song? Uh, well, I had been invited, yeah. Uh -huh. So like a few months, but I knew I was going to be with Blenda in Brazil because we were going to finish some stuff from the album there. And so I didn't really think much about, I was kind of like, you know what, I'm, it's before the deadline. So I know I'm going to be with Blenda like later in the year and we can just see if something comes out and, and that's what happened. But, you know, it wasn't like, let's write a song for your vision. It's kind of like, well, we're going to be there anyways. We're going to write music anyways. And then sure. I'm sure something will come out that can work. And that's exactly what happened. So it um, did. Yeah. And it's magic yeah. and it's magic. Thank you. Um, you're more than welcome. Um, okay, so what was quite interesting following uh, my pronunciation is also awful. Festival de Cancao. Does that sound right? Can that... sound. Okay. Um, like when we have the C with a little thing, it's C. It's oh. not an extra C, so it's not Cancao, but like Cancao. Cancao, sorry. Festival. Yeah, that was great, actually. That was great. Thank you. Um, so I was following that. It was quite interesting. So after your semi-final performance up until the final, there was a huge hype and momentum around your song. Were you aware from the semi-final to the final, like how much hype and momentum in Portugal there was about your song? Yeah, I started, I started feeling it a bit, yeah. Um, I think in the end, I, I kind of did it because no one really knew my work in Portugal and my music. So uh -huh. I, I was doing it more for, you know, I go and I'm part of this and I sing my song and then I leave and someone else is going to go to revision. That's fine. Because, you know, I never thought it would, because it's not really like a Eurovision song anyways, you know. And then exactly I started seeing like, wow, people really connect with it. And, and it's great because I wrote it from such a personal space and it's about my granddad that was so huge in my life. And so it was great to start seeing like people connecting with it and really, really, uh, liking it yeah yeah it was really interesting seeing that momentum from the semi-final up into the final um yeah when it got to the final yeah I think it was quite clear what was going to happen um again pronunciation you're going to have to do it for me so this morning I listened to your collaboration with Odessa 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 yeah Odessa better now talk to me about that collaboration how did you guys come together because I listened to that song this morning very good uh thank you um they found out about my work because I did uh, an EP with this French producer called Nazaya. Uh -huh. uh, and I think they, you know, they're in the same label and everything. And so they found out about my work and they kind of proposed a collaboration uh, and sent some, some ideas, some instrumentals. And so they sent the instrumental for Better Now. And I kind of, I loved it from the, from the start and wrote a melody and lyrics for it. And, but we kind of did it all at a distance, you know, it's, it's been, it happened during COVID yeah. Um, we haven't really like been together and just worked like in person, but um, everything happened uh, through a computer and it's okay. kind of fun actually. Yeah. So you've actually not sung that song live with these guys yet? Not yet, not yet. Okay. Is there plans to do that in the future? Uh, I think so, you know, not not anything specifically right now, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to happen. Okay. 
Amazing. I can't wait to see that. Right. Okay. So a few questions just to get to know you, um, because I'm sure lots of people are going to ask you loads of questions about you and Eurovision. Um, okay. So number one, you wanted to be a veterinarian, right? Yeah. If you could compare yourself to an animal, what would it be and why? I love, I, th- I think I'm kind of like a raccoon, but in person, it's like they, they can look really cute, but they, they like screw up most of the time. And they just like, do not, they're kind of like hyperactive animals that also always think about food. So I uh-huh. think I, I would be a raccoon. Okay. Good answer. Next question. Um, what is the funniest thing that's happened to you since winning Festival de Cancel? The funniest, the funniest thing. thing? Oh, or any funny. I know it's a hard question. Sorry, asking you to recall. Maybe, mm, I went on tour and I tried to do my shows in French. In French, okay. so maybe that was funny for whoever was watching me trying to speak in French. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Um, okay. Next question: If you could choose a song that would play every time you entered a room, what song would it be and why? All the single ladies, not sure. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, not... Uh... Are we going for that one? Is that your final answer? <laughs> I was saying it as a joke because, you know, uh, single forever, but um, no, I don't know. I I don't know. There's so many. I mean, I could think of like lyric-wise, but for example, Hadjeri from Madagascar, I always talk about him, but he's an artist that I love so much and it's such like, just African music and I love and it always puts me in a good mood. So maybe any, any of his songs really. Okay. Um, okay. I don't, I don't have like a pow song. I'm gonna maybe have to you could check. go with Beyonce. Okay, we'll go with Beyonce, but I'm going to have to check. Did, did, who's that artist that you said for, from Madagascar, did you say? Yes, Hadjeri, like Ray Jerry. It's R-A-J-E-R-Y. Uh-huh. Okay. And he's just like, he has an album called Fanambi that... Uh, you know, I, I just like ever since I was a kid, it's like kind of like it's just nice. It's the type of stuff you put in when you're driving and you it's like life is so gorgeous when you listen to his music. He's he's amazing. You've you've massively convinced me. Well done. Very good. <laughs> <to be honest. laughs> um, okay, so okay, last question. You've been amazing, bless you. You've got lots of interviews today. Your favorite Eurovision song of all time is oof. I feel like it'd be wrong of me to not say Salvador Sobral's song. Well, Luisa Sobral. And just because, you know, we're Portuguese and that was such a, like, happening. <laughs> and it was also, they won in my graduation day. I was in the state, I was in Boston where I studied and my mom went for my graduation and, and then suddenly it was the final of Eurovision. And so we both saw, my mom and I saw the whole thing in the computer and we're like, no way something's going to win. Ah! So, um and, you know, the song is gorgeous. So maybe, you know, out of even like Portuguese pride, I, I kind of have to go with that one. Amazing. Have you, have you managed to meet him or his sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're uh, you know, like I'm, I'm lucky to say they're, they're both um, dear friends. Okay. Also, Portuguese is tiny, so it's not like I'm special or anything. You know, it's just, no, 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 but still, that's uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and they're, they're really special people. They're really, really amazing. Did they give you any advice for Eurovision? Did you ask? Uh, you know, they just... Salvador was just saying like it's 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 a lot it's insane just enjoy it okay bless you I hope you do enjoy it and thank you so much for speaking to me bless you thank you for taking thank you thank you for the awesome questions those are original oh thank you very much do try I did think that you'd have a lot of kind of standard questions and uh (laughs) I thought I'd shake it up a little bit and also obviously uh, we didn't get to see you at a lot of the preview parties as a result of that there's not been lots of interviews with you so I wanted to ask some questions to get to know you that's amazing I loved it actually really really did thank you bless you well thank you very much I really appreciate it and good luck um in the whole thing semi-finals and hopefully finals and the whole experience hopefully we'll see thank you thank you so you maybe I don't know are you coming no um yeah I'm gonna be at semi-final one semi-final two and the family show yeah well, I'm sure I'm gonna see you around okay awesome bless you yeah. that's amazing well nice to meet you lovely to meet you too take care bye bye